Today in the news, Intel seems to be backing out of their promises and the RTX 4060 Ti specs are out. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Intel. It looks like the company is kind of going back on its word when it comes to their ARC series of GPUs. Back when they started to reveal more information about the future of ARC, we were told that uh, Alchemist, the current generation, well, that we would see more of a mid-level lineup for the chips. I mean, technically they said performance, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt here. We were supposed to get mid-level performance, and we did. The A770 isn't a bad GPU by any measure. It was late, but it still made it to the party. For Battlemage though, that's the next generation of chips, we were supposed to see a lineup from entry level all the way up to enthusiast class GPUs. And then for Celestial, then we would have gone all the way up to ultra enthusiast class. Now though, it looks like Intel, or rather Raja Kuduri, are changing their tune. Raja had an interview with Gadget360, and he had a pretty interesting take on the future of ARC. In the interview, he said, performance per watt or delivering higher performance at lower power is my top priority. He also added that just increasing the power and bragging about benchmarks is good from a marketing standpoint, but that the number of PC users who can just buy such a card and plug it in reduces the overall market for well, Intel. Essentially, his current priority is to deliver GPUs in the 200 to 225 watt range, aka GPUs that would only need a single 8 pin power connector. Adding other SKUs above and below that would allow Intel to nail that sweet spot in the market. Now, he doesn't outright say that high end GPUs are out of the question, but it looks like Intel is definitely shifting their strategy when it comes to GPUs. I'm not gonna lie, I'm personally totally fine with that. I mean, high-end GPUs all hover around or above a thousand US dollars right now, and that's definitely not an amount that I'm personally willing to pay anymore, especially in Canadian dollars. If Intel can roll with the three to five hundred dollar price range while delivering good performance in the future, I'll definitely consider them. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below. Moving on, but sticking to some GPU news, we got NVIDIA. Their whole RTX 4000 series seems to be leaking like a sieve. Last week, we got confirmation that the 4070 Ti was just the 4080 12 gig, but rebadged. By the way, that got confirmed again by PNY this week, this time with even more information such as clock speeds and stuff. Then at the end of last week, we got the specs of the RTX 4070, which don't look that great. And now we got the specs of the potential RTX RTX 4060 Ti. This leaks comes from none other than leaker extraordinaire copite 7 kimmy over on Twitter, and here it is. It would use the AD106 chip, which is one step down from the AD104 that the 4070 and 4070 Ti use. We would get 34 SMs for a total of 4,352 CUDA cores, and it would have a meager, at least by today's standard, 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 non-X. The memory, by the way, would run at 18 gigabits per second, and all of that on a TDP of 220 watts, while still using the damn new 16-pin PCIe Gen 5 connector. Copite also adds that the reference PCB would be very short, which is always appreciated. Kind of like this 6500 XT here in my build. Yes, I had to remove the 6800 XT for some testing. Now, back to those specs for the 4060 Ti, it's looking a little grim in my opinion. I know that they're different architectures, but let's compare it to the RTX 3060 Ti because I have some concerns and or questions. First, it has about 10% less CUDA cores than the 3060 Ti. For Nvidia to have a significant leap over the last gen, this 4060 Ti would need to also go through that 10% first and then climb up the extra performance. Thankfully, the memory is a lot faster than the original 3060, about 30% faster at 18 gigabits per second compared to 14 on the last gen 
model, but that's against the OG 3060 Ti. In case you didn't know, there's a variant of the 3060 Ti with GDDR6X memory going around, and apparently they're planning to replace the OG 3060 Ti with that one. And that one has much faster memory than the 4060 Ti at 19 gigabits per second with PAM4 signaling. I haven't seen any reviews of the 3060 Ti with GDDR6X memory, but it's clear that it does exist since Galax has a model right here. I really wonder what's gonna happen here for reviews. I mean, reviewers are gonna have a field day with this because they have to get a hold of this new 3060 Ti and compare it to the 4060 Ti, right? Or do they have to compare it to the OG 3060 Ti? I mean, the 6950 XT is what we compare to the 7900 XTX, so yeah. Plus, the 4060 Ti is still just eight gigabytes. That seems a little low for a new generation of the same class, especially when you consider how much of a difference more memory can make. Hardware Unboxed has an amazing video comparing the 3060 12 gig and the new eight gigabyte model, and the eight gigabyte model gets absolutely crushed. I mean, I'm sure that the 4060 Ti will beat the 3060 Ti, but like I keep repeating, with the price creeps that we've been seeing, we might get another 4080 situation where the price increase is the same or at least very close to the performance increase, meaning that we don't really get a generational bump. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this and keep the conversation going, so let me know what you think down below. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you'd like to, you know, talk about today's stories. As usual, it's right here to see the latest video right here. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.